Have you ever added an image to Squarespace and then realized you didn't optimize the file name before you uploaded it? So now you're stuck to tracking down IMG underscore 0926 all over the place? Today I'm going to show you how to update that file name in one place and have it propagate across your website. This is a new feature release from Squarespace. And yes, the file name matters. In addition to the alt text, the file name lets screen readers and most importantly search engines understand what your images and your website are all about. I'm Christy Price and I'm a Squarespace web designer. Thanks for joining me for the Squarespace feature update. So here we are with the first one and it's a good one. Today I'll be showing you how to rename your images in the Squarespace asset library. And the best part is that the file name updates across your entire website, anywhere you've used the image. Well, unless you've overwritten it somewhere and then it will just use what you wrote. So here we are in my scribe template for authors. If you are an author and looking to DIY your website, I'll drop a link below so you can check it out. So let me show you how this works. First, I'm going to show you the file name that I currently have for this book and it's terrible. It's a whole bunch of numbers.png. So this is not helping me out in any way. It doesn't mean anything. And if we scroll down into this other section and I hit edit content and content, we look at the book title, you can see that image name is the same here as well. So pretty terrible. Let's fix it. I'm gonna show you three different methods. All right, let's hop into the asset library. And there are three different ways you can rename this. One, you can just start typing right here. So type over that or you can hit the ellipsis and choose rename. You can re rename your file here. And finally, if you double click and you're inside the file details, you can update the name here as well. So three different places you can update it. Let's just go ahead and rename it here. I'm gonna say, honey, I'm home and author name. So now we've got some context in this file name. It's the name of the book and the author name. I typically use dashes to parse the words in file names because it just makes it easier for Google to understand what each word is instead of trying to figure it out. And it's easier for me too when I'm searching for things later. Okay, so let's just check out our image blocks and make sure they updated. Yes, and yes, great. So you might be wondering, in addition to SEO, why would you do this? There are a couple of other reasons. One is that it makes your life easier. So now if I am in the asset library and I'm searching for an image and I type in author, it's going to pull up the image that has that in its title. So it's helping me move forward a little faster, find what I'm looking for easier. And the last reason you might want to do this is here I have some photos of a person you notice that her name is not here. So if someone is searching for her on Google, it's not going to pull in these because her name's not associated with it. So that's another reason to rename your images. So just to recap, be sure you rename your images, use descriptive and short names, put dashes between the words. I typically don't use more than five or six words per image name. Stick to a naming convention so that it's easy for you to find it later and include your keywords where it's relevant for SEO. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That encourages YouTube to suggest it to other people. And if you'd like more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I wish you all the best with your website.